Hello friends, welcome back on my channel. Thank you for tuning in. Initially, I wanted to detect the gold field today, but we had heavy rain yesterday and the arables are very boggy. For this reason, I returned to the old footpath that I quite successfully detected the past two videos. There's not much left to detect, but I hope to come up with similar finds like the past times I've been here. Enough talk, just follow me. Very loud. Mm, 90. I got reservations. <laughs> uh, maybe a Coke can, we will see. Wow. Oh, great. It's a ring. Um, brass or bronze. It's hard to define the age. Um, uh, these can be fairly contemporary, <laughs> but uh, they can also be quite old. Um, I have to give it a clean of course to tell you more because um, then maybe I can see how it was made um, that would help uh, to define it but um, yeah I'm not sure whether I can tell you how old it exactly will be For all of you who are not familiar with the Deos, I wanted to show you an example that proves um, yeah, that this is uh, the best machine you can get. Um, listen to this. Can you hear all this, uh, these nails here? Um, I'm detecting a long side of the fence and here are tons of nails and uh, wire pieces. But you, you can hear the tears a goodie. Yeah, the other signals have uh, figures of about two to ten. And when I swipe the coal over this signal, I get a solid uh, 85. Let's see what it is. it already. Oh, it's a beautiful um, little coin from the German imperial time. Uh, it's uh, one Pfennig. Um, this should be in a good condition as far as I can see at the moment and I can even give you a date I think. Um, 1880s. I think it's uh, 1888. Uh, or 85. <laughs> I was mistaken um, with the date of a coin last time. Uh, I said uh, 1871 instead of 1874, but I think this time it's uh, 1888.
there's a chain. Take a look. Let's pull it out together. Hopefully there is something at the other end. <laughs> only a chain fragment but I can imagine that it is uh, or that it was part of a pocket watch um, because you have to imagine these uh, breast chains as uh, being gold shiny in the past Yeah, uh, we have a nice signal here, 65. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what it is. It's in the clot. I don't really like that. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I didn't expect this. It's a lead back seal. Um, got a lot of riding on it. Typical find, yeah. Something you expect on an old footpath. Of two bits. Oh my gosh, this is a fantastic find! Wow, it's a, it's an old silver coin, guys. 1750. Oh my gosh, I didn't expect this, guys. What a beautiful coin! Oh, this footpath is amazing, guys. Too bad uh, it stops in 200 meters. And then it's uh, formally continued, of course, but uh, there's a field, you know, and I don't know the farmer. Maybe I can ask for permission there to detect, uh, yeah, the, the path over the field, but I have to find out the farmer. What a fantastic find, guys. I'm chuffed to bits.
guys, this is an, this is an amazing find. Uh, yeah, and uh, it gives me hope because uh, there's always a possibility of a coin trace. Uh, when people had a hole in their purse or in their pockets um, whilst riding or uh, walking, they yeah lost uh, coins. And um, maybe I can find more. Hopefully, uh, keep your fingers crossed. It's the next promising signal and I'm quite nervous as you can imagine. This is a tricky one. Hmm. Have to give it another go here. Now that's better. Oh, it's in this lump here. Oh. <laughs> it's a bottle cap. Guys, I just love this path. It's so exciting to detect it. Uh, it's the next silver. Take a look. It's a Kreuzer. Definitely. It's a later one. I think uh, around 1850. Um, can imagine that this one uh, provides a lot of details. Um, can't wait to give it a wash. Yeah, it's amazing. I enjoy it so much to detect this path. I'm not sure whether I found a small coin or a button. Take a look. I think it's uh, most likely a small button, but uh, after finding this uh, beautiful uh, Victoria Jubilee um, head coin last time, it was uh, approximately the same size. I'm not so sure, but um, there's a lump on this uh, side of uh, the disc, <laughs> um, so maybe it's uh, the remains of a shank and then it would be a button, of course.
Yeah, guys, I'm detecting along this field and uh, I eyeballed this here. Um, don't know what it is as yet, but it looks interesting. But I didn't uh, even swipe over it with a coil, um, but I can see that it's metal. Let's see what it is. Oh, I know what this is. It's a pocket watch, the casing. And it's uh, gold shiny in places. Beautiful find, obviously um, another find from this footpath that was brought up by the plow. I feel sorry for the owner, <laughs> um, even though it's not a very valuable uh, pocket watch. I think it was the same back then, but uh, yeah, I'm happy. <laughs> a nice coin it's not very old it's from 1950 um, it's one mark and uh, I can remember what I got for this uh, one mark um, it used to be my pocket money when I was around about six seven years old I don't know and yeah you got a lot uh, for this little coin here and um, I have uh, quite sweet memories, if you understand what I mean. Yeah, it's a faint signal and uh, it got nice figures even though it's a bit scratchy at times but uh, maybe there's a small nail in the same spot I don't know we will see Seems to be deeper. It's amazing. I just can't believe that this is uh, the signal, but it is. Whatever it is, it is uh, unbelievably tiny and it was uh, at least 15 centimeters in the ground, which is yeah, amazing. <laughs> Sem filme, o mundo não estão bem. Eu 
I really enjoyed the day. Spring is coming with big strides. It's warm, birds are singing. It's one of my favorite uh, seasons of the year. And of course, I made some fantastic finds. This uh, one um, silver coin is just amazing. I think it's uh, six Kreuzer, but I'm not sure as yet. I have to uh, look it up, but uh, it's a beautiful coin. And um, I didn't finish uh, the pass today because after finding the coin, I detected uh, even more properly than I already do all the time and um, it's still 100 meter left of it so I have to give it a go another time another day yeah and I hope you will join me then too I hope you like the finds and my video and um, if you haven't subscribed already I would be pleased if you do thank you for that until next time I wish you good hunting bye bye au revoir und auf Wiedersehen